Lift and develop the gospel industry in the Western Cape region. Also uh, aspire to shape Unite and Power as well as create major platform for uh, local artists. That's the uh, Cape Town Victory Music Awards, which will see Cape Town gospel artists rubbing shoulders with South Africa's best gospel music artists at the Artscape Opera House next Friday. Now, the awards aim to encourage artists and makers of gospel music to give their contribution in shaping Western Cape as well as our country through the transformation message that is in uh, the uh, gospel music. Now to tell us more, we're joined from our C-Point studios by Nwabi Salisa, who's the founder of the Cape Town uh, Gospel Music Association. Nwabi, so good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Thank you Let, for having me. Let's talk about the Cape Town Victory Music Awards. What inspired the establishment of these kind of awards? Basically, um, it's seeing the talent and um, that we have um, here in the Western Cape, um, the great gifts that, um, that our, our artists have. That is what inspired us to say, you know what, we need to recognize this great talent that we have in the Western Cape. Um, so it started as a conversation uh, where we were trying to find out from the artists in the Western Cape that why, why is it that um, you, you never see them? Why is it that you, in, in this country we, where we have great, beautiful artists, but you, you definitely, you actually never see them anywhere in our, in our national pat platforms or, or in, 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 our, in our platforms? Mm. So basically what happened is that um, through those meetings, then we said, okay, fine. The best thing and the first thing to do is to recognize our own here at home. Speak to us about the nomination process and how that works. Basically, you fill in an entry form and um, you, you go through the judges. And then after that, we have a media launch where we actually announce those who are nominated. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this year's nominees, though. Uh, who are they? Uh, can you just break it down for us? Um, basically, it's, it's our Cape Town um, artist. Um, we've got about we've got Fondo Kiwako, who's, who's um, he calls himself the uh, the Prince of Cape Town. We've got Charlene Davids. We've got Sunday. Um, the, he was nominated last year as well in the in the best hip hop um, awards because this is the second year that we are having mm -hmm. and lots of others. All right. So paint a picture for us. What are we going to look forward to on Friday at Artscape at the Opera House? Um, great performance, great production. Um, we've incorporated um, dance as well. We've incorporated uh, poetry as well. So uh, basically, a person who goes to Artscape next week, Friday, uh, this coming Friday actually, um, will, is, will expect to see a great performance and great production put together by our very own uh, Western Cape gospel artists. Let's talk about the lessons that came from hosting the awards last year. What, what lessons have you learned and bringing them into this year's event? Um, first of all, um, the, the creating a, of awareness of this uh, production, um, you know, one of the things that I've, I've learned is that um, unless you, 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 you go to every community and, and using the, me, in the, the media um, as a tool to create awareness, then um, people will not be, basically know about it. And also create relationships uh, is, what, is what really has taught me uh, in this journey, you know, um, making sure that you have great uh, relationships. And also, um, and also, uh, the excitement that comes from our, our local artists is, is actually amazing. Um, it's to see that this people have been longing for this, people have been waiting for this. And one of the things that we've actually realized is that um, although there are um, awards, um, like you get your awards in the in the in the country, gospel awards, but our artists um, were not confident enough enough to enter this because of the fact that here in the Western Cape, they don't really have the platform. So um, one of the things that I, uh, we've um, realized is that people actually we have been waiting for this. And, and even the people um, who are not artists who are there, who would be there to actually watch the show, mm -hmm. they were very excited last year. We got great feedback last year. So right. it has been an interesting journey. Okay. Nobisa, thank you so much for talking to us. Nobisa Lisa is the founder of the Cape Town Gospel Music Association, speaking to us about the Cape Town Victory Music Awards taking place at the Artscape Opera House on the 30th this coming Friday at 8 o'clock. All right.